Hello, my name is Anushka and this is my lockdown diary. Lockdown has changed my life kind of in like the aspect of it being just even to go outside, just to go into a shop, like you cannot enter without a mask or you have to sanitize your hands, you have to be more aware of your surroundings and people that are around you and you need to be careful for their health and your own health and it's very different than what it was before because before you just walk around you know now when I think about it it just feels weird that we used to walk around their bare faces with no masks on because if you just think about it it's been so long and I'm just kind of used to it at this point like if I get outside my house and I'm like oh I don't have a mask I'll run back and I'll get a mask you know it's just very different in that way I think. A typical day for me was get up at 6 and get ready, leave for school at 8, get on with my school, just you know my whole day would just be school and then I come back home any spare time I had I would either do homework or spend time with my family or just like social media, Netflix or like talk to my friends online but now like during the lockdown it was really it was like very like out of order I didn't have an order and it was I would sometimes miss breakfast, I would be on social media all day and Netflix and I would just like, I wouldn't see the importance of school when I didn't actually have to go to it and there was no one forcing me to do the schoolwork. like there wasn't any teachers, no one like, and I just found it really hard for me at that point to focus on schoolwork. but it was really like, a, I had, I didn't have like a schedule, it was very out of order and I just like would go with something different every day and my sleeping schedule mixed up so. I think that's what the difference was between before and now. The hardest part for me during lockdown was school, definitely, because I found it really hard to keep up with my work and hand it in in time and put my best effort into it. And I sometimes I would just not even do it. And I would think, like, if there's a deadline, I would, like, wait until the deadline. And then if I missed it, I'd be like, oh, I missed it. There's no point of doing it. And there, are, I missed a lot of schoolwork just doing that, I think. And so that's something I really regret. Um, and I just wish I could have worked harder and tried to get through my schoolwork better. In lockdown, I think the biggest thing was um, taking up some skills for me. So one of the skills I took up was I wanted to learn to cook and like bake. Like even before lockdown, I was a little bit interested in the baking and the cooking and I would always try and do things but it would get messed up very easily because I haven't had practice. So during lockdown, I took the time to take classes and stuff so I could focus on something. I have not all my energy go into social media and like sitting and watching Netflix or YouTube all day. So I think baking was one of the biggest things and just other things around that like just you know, I was quite interested in clothing and makeup and stuff. So I would just practice on skills that I wanted to learn with that. And I would watch YouTube videos and tutorials and they would just really help me. So those were some skills that I took up during lockdown. Working for home has been extremely challenging for me in my experience. I don't know how other people worked around it, but for me it was really hard and I really just disliked it very much. I did not like the fact that I had to be at home and I'm a very people person. I like talking. If I talk sometimes I tend to over talk. Um, so in this video I'm trying to like keep it down a bit, but... Um, I do talk quite a lot and so it's just I didn't get to socialize with people I'm like a very I'm a people person I like chatting I like socializing and when I didn't get to do that it was kind of depressing in a sense like I just hated it um, and when I'm in school I would have my friends around me and it'd be like a fun thing being in school but being at home it's just it was really boring and I would get distracted so fast and so easily that I just could not get any of my schoolwork done. I think the bright spots about lockdown was the fact that I um, matured quite fast and I like um, learned that there's more important things in life than just you know because before lockdown I think I would very um, I would get very upset at the smallest things I would get angry and I just would throw a fit but now I just realized there's more important things than like that doll that I wanted that I wasn't allowed to get or that like, I don't know, just something that I wanted and I just wasn't allowed to get, you know? So I just, um, I think I realized that and during lockdown, my family went through a little bit of a 
stressful time and it was just I think seeing my family go through that really matured me up really fast and made me realize that like just it's just my family is just really important and you need to be there for your family and you need to help them in any way you can so I think that experience that we had during lockdown even though it was stressful I think I'd like to believe that everything happens for a reason. I think that happened just so I could mature in myself and realize there are much more important things than getting upset over the tiniest little things. During lockdown, I was with my mom, my dad, and my sister, and they are doing well, and I am doing well as well myself. Um, they, like, as far as we know, we haven't gotten COVID, but like what do we know any times we have been tested they have been negative and we haven't had really strong symptoms of covid or anything so i think for now we are doing well but i don't want to jinx anything because that's just you know because there's just so many people going through really hard times right now and i just feel like never just jinx because anything could happen to you but yeah for the now we're doing we're doing very well. That was my lockdown diary. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for listening.